Hello my lovely floss tube friends and welcome back to the channel. A very warm welcomes to you all. This is like my last final ditch attempt at getting my July update out there because every single time I've gone to record this something's gone wrong and if it's not been a tech failure it's been that the girls won't behave themselves or the husband's walked in. Oh talking of girls not behaving themselves. Bonbons wants to make, you know, a, a, an appearance. Really? Do we have to sit up here? Say hello to the camera then. Say hello. Say hello. You need to get down. Mummy really needs to get this done. So, as you can see, life is a little crazy and, and so are the dogs, <laughs> it appears this morning. So let's try this again because hopefully Bonbons is going to go and sit on the bed now and behave herself. Honey is sitting down here eating a chew, so if you hear this weird slapping noise, then that'll be Honey. Yeah, like I say, this is like the last attempt at getting my July update out there because it just seems to be every single time I've gone to record or film something, either someone's come in and disturbed me, someone's knocked at the door, the weather hasn't been conducive, I just haven't had the time. Yeah, it's one of those this month. So, what to tell you all? Sort of quite a lot has happened since I last saw you all. So I've been to a retreat, so we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But let me get to the whips, because if I don't do this now, I, I, I fear that it won't happen. <laughs> so stitching-wise, I didn't stitch massively, but it's not, it's not to be sniffed at, given that I've just gone back to work in, in London with the commuting. So yeah, I don't feel that I haven't done anything. And the weather over here has been super hot, so yeah, you don't really want to be sitting indoors doing lots of stitching when it's been glorious weather outside and too hot in the evenings to sit indoors. So, where should we start? Now, so because the June update included a little bit of the beginning of July, I'm basically going to go from the date that I did the recording of the last video and talk about everything that I stitched from that point onwards because, yeah. I'm losing my way. I can't say that this is all June or all July because it's not all July. It's a bit of July and a bit of August because today is Monday the 8th of August. <laughs> forever late, forever late. Right, where to, where to start? So first up, as you can see, we're in a new space. The reason for this is my next door neighbour works um, shifts and this week he's on nights so because he's on nights I don't want to be talking where he might be able to hear me while he's trying to sleep love him um it is sort of 6 a.m in the morning so yeah he won't appreciate that after he's just got in from work so where to start alternative reality is first up she says um I was about now you should be seeing a picture of where you last saw it um, and what it should look like when it's finished and this is where I've got to so I've been working on this portion down here and getting it set into the diagonal not masses of stitching arguably negligibly anything but it's had a touch so alternative reality, as far as I'm aware, got two days. This is being stitched on a 25 can easy guide, although you can't, you can barely see the easy guide anymore. Uh, in the colourway Ecru, and it's stitched one over one, full cross. I know I keep saying I'm going to make this a focus piece, but yeah, I've obviously not been focusing on it as much as I would have liked. So <laughs> she really needs a bit of love, this lady. But yeah, I'm happy with the progress so far. It will do, given that I, I don't just work on one project. I've always got more than one project on the go. So that was alternative reality. That got two days worth of stitching. Evening in the park. So as you know, my lovely Chatelaine. So I went away to the Chatelaine retreat at Crewe in July. And as part of that, obviously I was gonna take a Chatelaine with me. But I was trying to make it so that I didn't have too much stuff because I always take far more stuff than I actually need to take. So I decided that I was going to travel light this time. So traveling light consisted of a very small project that I could possibly stitch in the room if I fancied it. My 
evening in the park because I've already said that that really does need to be my my focus piece so I was like well I'll just stitch on evening in the park for the entire weekend because that makes total sense and the only other project that I took was a new start that we spoke about where you all gave me your lovely feedback about what fabric you thought I should use for it, it was a Bella Filipina and I thought well because so many people suggested doing a floss toss I thought I would take the project and the fabrics and we would do a floss toss while I was there and just see what the other ladies thought whilst, whilst I was floss tossing so yeah needless to say I got all the way to crew which is about a four and a half hour drive for me it was uneventful for once in my life which is always a good thing got there got myself set up and was like oh I've left my chatelaine in the car so I went racing back to the car to get my chatelaine and it wasn't there so then I had a moment of sheer panic because I'd gone and got the car washed before I left and I also stopped at petrol station and opened the boot and I had this awful feeling that it either fell out or well not that anyone would take it but you know the car cleaners they they open the boot and they do all the things and I just go you know wandering around so I wasn't watching them so I was thinking I'd lost it it's gone and then I rung home and said to Lauren, I was like, Lauren, I said, is my chatelaine in my office on like in, in the stitching room on the bed? She was like, no, I can't see it. So yeah, I, my heart, well, it was in my mouth. I was ready to cry because I thought I'd lost it. I was like, there's like five or six years of my life there and it's just disappeared. Only to realize that Lauren, lover, when I said, is my chatelaine there? Didn't realize that the scroll bar cover had the chatelaine in it so then when she turned around she went oh there's this flowery thing on the bed I went what sort of flowery thing she was like a, like a sleevey flowery thing and I was like what's in it so she opened it up and it was the chatelaine so it was evening in the park so a huge sigh of relief but I ended up at a chatelaine retreat without a chatelaine you can't even make this up can you I couldn't I was just like really so needless to say, Evening in the Park did not get stitched on whilst I was at the Chatelaine retreat. So I on purposely made sure that I pulled it out the day that I came back from the retreat and did some stitching on her because, yeah, because it didn't get the love at the Chatelaine retreat where it was supposed to have got all the love. So Evening in the Park, my beautiful Evening in the Park. Yeah, see this, start, this was started in December 2016 right the girls have just raced off so I need to stop the video here for a moment and retrieve them this is gonna be one of those videos the girls now don't want to behave themselves because they want to play so I need to yeah get a hurry on with this video as well as I've got to start work this morning so right where was we evening in the park wasn't we so like I say Chatelaine retreat that didn't get any touches on a Chatelaine because he didn't even make it to the Chatelaine retreat with me. So I decided that I would give it some love at home after, as an after event. So, Evening in the Park got, what did Evening in the Park get? It only got two days and when I say two days it was two like evenings of stitching. Let's unravel her in all her glory. I've got some felt in there just to protect it because I've got the beads and the treasures. So, oh. So here it is, in all its glory. You've already seen the top bit. So I haven't been working up here. I'd already decided I was gonna go down and let me just make sure that we get it all in it's really difficult to get this all into the camera these days because it's so big so let me just stand up and bring it a bit closer roll it up so basically I have done this corner here she says with the needle sticking out um, I haven't done the specialty stitches in the middle. I'm going to do the other side and then do them all at the same time. 
so I'm on this edge band now I've got a little bit more to do around here and then I'll move over and I'll do exactly the same thing on this side but yeah I'm, ha I'm happy I'm happy with happy with the progress happy with the progress considering that it didn't come away to the Chatelaine retreat and get diligent stitching done on oh, no. our because because I forgot it and I left it at home because that's the way I roll it appears so part of this whole not remembering anything um, it's official people I'm definitely a lady of a certain age so and part of my um, benefits with work is that I have like a booper a booper insurance cover and as part of that they do a, a, like a well woman a well woman GP sort of service so I officially started my HRT two days ago in the hope that it's going to sort the brain out because the brain seems to not want to work with me at the moment I'm doing the, the strangest things I've known for some time that I was definitely in that stage of life because I was getting the night sweats I couldn't sleep just generally being a bit strange <clears throat> needless to say my family were aware of my strangeness um, but yeah, yeah, this whole sort of not being able to remember anything and doing, you know, brain fog type things and really, really, you know, I mean, I left the keys. I've got, I've got a new car that's sitting on the driveway and my keys are attached to my house keys and five days, five days out of seven in one week, I managed to leave the keys to my car in my front door. Even though my husband has said, like, are you trying to get the car stolen or the house broken into? Five times in one week. Just could not get my brain to accept when you come through the door, take the keys out the door. It was, yeah, I've never done it in my life. Don't understand why I've started doing it now. But needless to say, neglectful, forgetful. <laughs> it's all happening. So, yeah, so I had a consultation with the female doctor we ran through some bits and pieces and she said I think we can officially say that you're 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 in your menopause she said so let, let's let's try some HRT so I've officially started HRT in the hope that some of these really strange behaviors are going to just sort of subside and I'm going to feel like I'm more the old Teresa because this new one's a little strange so I'm hoping that this HRT will, will resolve some of the problems uh, that seem to be seem to be progressively getting worse, let's say. But we will see, we will see how we go with that. Right. So next up, what's next? I know it feel, I feel like I'm rushing this because I'm trying to get the girls to behave and yeah, start work. So I need to I need to get a move on. So the next project that I worked on was the Winter by the Cricut Collection. And about now you should be seeing where you last saw it. And what it actually looks like because it appears that I've managed to forget the picture. See? <laughs> no wonder I'm struggling so much. So again, I didn't really do that much on it. It's not had that many touches, but we're not doing too badly so we already had most of that done and then I've been working on the eye right here so we're working on this section Again, more like white colours. You know how much I love those. This colour here, I keep saying I'm going to put it in, but I keep forgetting to order a skein of that colour because I don't appear to have one. But yeah, so I've slowly been working on the, on the eye and just sort of doing these bits here. Again, this is a project that I have set up here. If I'm, if I'm watching a bit of TV before going to sleep I might pull this one out and just put a few you know put a strand in or so it's not one that I'm really sort of being drawn to at the moment but then that's because it's a winter one and it, it's not winter so winter got three days or three three touches 
of stitching. This is definitely turning into one of those videos. Um, Honey doesn't feel very well, it appears, because she's been out in the garden and eating grass, so she's just been sick. <sighs> it feels like I'm not destined to get this video. It's almost like every time we get to July and August, I never manage to get any videos up. So I'm, I'm persevering, people. So I apologise if this just seems to be going all over the place. Right, where was we? Garlic Dragon, that's right. So Garlic Dragon, Garlic Dragon was a new start for the 1st of June. And it's part of the Sal. It's a, with Dizzy Stitcher group on Facebook. Um, it's Stanley Morrison Dragon by Pain Free Crafts. This one, Garlic Dragon. I think I only did one one evening of stitching. I'll be completely honest with you. Yeah. I haven't really managed to do much on this one. So this one is being stitched on a 28 count even weave fabric by Sparklies called Dusk in Opalescent. And it's being stitched two over one tent stitch with the CXC threads. I love the fabric. The fabric's like an ombre fabric. See? And when I say there's minimal stitching, it is very minimal stitching. Now what's happened to the camera? The camera looks like it's gone a funny colour. So that's how much we've managed to get stitched. Like I say, there's not a lot. But what's making this more difficult, I think, she says, let me get a bit closer. What's making this more difficult is the fact that these colours are blending so much with the fabric colour at the moment but that's just this section this will blend and it'll be fine I'm happy with the fact that it blends into the fabric because that was the idea I basically didn't want to use an easy count or a, a, a white because I didn't want to stitch the background so I wanted sort of the fabric to be sort of the background and then the stitching to 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 come from that so it's sort of doing what I want it to do but it's it's not very nice to stitch on at the moment until I get past the past the moon on the back. Once I get to the dragon and all the business and stuff, it'll be absolutely fine, but I'm at the worst bit. And pain-free crafts don't do a background removal, so I'm having to try and do that myself. So again, it's another new thing for me. She, she assured me that it shouldn't be that difficult because they're, they're actually quite easy to work out, but only time will tell. So that had a little bit of love. Not a lot, but a little bit of love. Right, where have we got to? So, alternative reality we've seen, even in the park we've seen, garlic joint. I'm using my little, for those of you that don't know, I've started to write my projects on little cards so that when I come up and I do my videos, I remember to tell you the things about the project because I always forget either the fabric colour or what count it's on because the brain. The brain just doesn't want to work anymore. I never used to have this problem. These videos were so easy and I could remember everything off the top of my head. Now I can't even remember one thing. So definitely a reason why I'm a lady of a certain age. Right, so next up, what else got some love? So because I felt like I was neglecting a lot of my full coverages, I decided that I would pull out another full coverage. So I pulled out my mini red queen red dragon again heaven and earth design full coverage artwork is by Alanya Lazareva is it I don't know I can't say the name because it appears I can't speak either so not only can I not remember anything I have an inability to speak so this one God, yeah see this is an old project this this was started in December 2018 and I'm stitching it on a 28 count magic guide white and it's two over one tent stitch. This one's on the frames at the moment because I've got it downstairs all set up to do more stitching. And again, I'm trying to bring this onto the diagonal. So instead of, instead of going back up here and coming down, I'm starting down here because I want to get this on a diagonal across there. But that is where we've got to. But I do love my little dragon. I've got a little head. 
So obviously the beauty of doing down here is I'll get more of the dragon instead of just doing more tree and more background, which is lovely. Also, whilst as part of the retreat, whilst I was away at the retreat, um, Agnes Needleminders put a post up to say that there was there was more Needleminders. Needless to say, I couldn't help myself. I needed to get myself another needle minder. So I've got another little dragon. I've got a dragon over here. I've got a dragon over here. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. So yeah, so that one, although I say it's got a touch on it, I think I only done about 120, 130 stitches on that, but progress is progress, right? So that is Mini Red Queen Red Dragon. So that one's going to stay on the frame downstairs now all week. Although I say that, it's going to be a really hot week. So I can't, I can't say that I think she's going to get a lot of love because it's just going to be ridiculously hot all week. And I'm not going to want to be downstairs stitching. So what else did we stitch on? We also stitched on the lovely High Heels Collection 2. Now, I've gone into lunch, so I've been back to work in the city for the last two weeks. So last week was a three-day week in the office, and the week before that was a two-day week in the office, but only because there was a tube strike or a train, there was a train strike. So the plan was that I was supposed to have been in the office three days, both days, but three days at both weeks, but I wasn't. So... High Heels Collection got, because this is the one that I've been taking on the train with me. So this is just two days worth of, two mornings worth of stitching on the train and two evenings. Now, this just goes to show how much more I do get done when I commute. Because there are days when I'm at home that once I finish work, you go in the garden or you get waylaid or you've got to take the dogs for a walk or you've got housework to do. And before I know it, by the time I actually get to a point that I could sit down and do some stitching, I'm like, I'm too tired. I really don't fancy it. I just want to sit and do nothing. Because I'm on the train in and home, and it's like, it, for, to me, that's like wasting, it's wasted time. I'm just, I'm just commuting. So rather than just sit there and scroll on my phone, I do tend to get a lot more stitching done <laughs> on my commute. So I'd done one shoe, and I, it was like a little mini finish. And then other than that, I hadn't stitched on it. So this is two days worth of train stitching, she says put something behind it so here is my two days worth of stitching so I'm working on what shoe are we on we're on this we're working on this shoe here on this bit and that is where I got to so that's two two mornings and two evenings worth of stitching on the train so yeah I'm very very happy very very happy that I'm getting a stitch on with that one I do get some funny looks when I'm stitching on the train, but most of the time I have my earphones on, an audio book on, and I don't really look out very much, because I don't care what I look like. Because I'm like, I'm bored, I'm wasting my life away on a train. I'm certainly not got anything better to do, so why not sit and do something that I actually do enjoy doing? So yeah, very, very happy with how much progress I got on that on two days. So, note to self, there is there is an upside to having to commute into London. I actually get me time with my stitching. What else was there? Okay, final one that was stitched on. But there is more to this because not only is it not only is it that I've got some stitching on it, but it's a new start. And it's on it's on a frame up here. So this is my floor stand that I have upstairs. It, so this one I've got on my floor stand upstairs, so when it's too hot and I need some air con, and the girls need air con, or I just wanna in the evening sit with the lovely breeze coming through the doors, overlooking the garden, then I will sit in front of the TV <laughs> in my rocking chair with my stand. So I've got a stand upstairs now, I've got a stand, I've got a desk stand, a Larry desk clamp in my office and I've got 
the needle needs stand downstairs. Love this one. However, it doesn't hold my scroll bars. It only holds Q-snaps. So, needless to say, this one is in a Q-snap. I will need to start investing in some more Q-snaps, I think, like bigger ones, so that I've got more that I can stitch up here. So, what are you stitching, I hear you say, Teresa, just get on with it. So, remember this beauty from last, from last month, when we was debating what lovely fabric to use? Well, whilst at the Chatelaine retreat, because I didn't take my Chatelaine, I was like, well, what am I gonna do now? I, I only had winter with me, or I had all of this with the pe bits and pieces to decide on the fabric. So I thought, well, I've got this, I might as well start it then. So it was a new start of the Chatelaine retreat. I know, it doesn't make any sense at all, does it? And this is where we got to. So the fabric, drum roll, the fabric that we decided on was the Atlantic. So the, the bluey green fabric. It just, when I'd done the floss toss and we was looking at the floss on the actual fabrics, this was the fabric, which I thought it would be, but you know, you need to check these things. So this is where I've got to. Let's put something behind it. I love stitching on this and well you can tell because look how much stitching I've got done look at that and it's so blingy and the, I think the fabrics just gonna work perfectly absolutely perfectly so it's a 28 count even week by pole stitches I started it on the 16th of July and I decided that I would do the skin two over one tenth. I know, it's not one over one. It's two over one tenth stitch on the skin. And it is faster. Definitely, definitely faster. I think it might be my new way to go. The only thing that I do find is I have to remember to change the leg. So. I'll probably go into this more in, in more detail at some point. So because all of my stitches I start in the bottom left corner into the top right and then bottom right to top left so that the orientation didn't look different, what is the equivalent of the second leg of a full cross is how I'm doing the tenth stitch on that so that everything goes in the same direction. But I absolutely love this. I am, I'm having a ball with this one. And the fact that it's upstairs, yeah, I just, I just keep wanting to go upstairs and stitch now because I absolutely love stitching on this one. So, but yeah, that's what she'll look like when she's finished. And I can't wait because I think she's going to go really well up here in my new, my new upstairs bedroom. Oh, this is the first time I've recorded up here, isn't it? So. It's not completely done yet. I don't feel like it's homey yet. Um, I've had to change the colours because originally it was going to be blush pink and grey. And I got lots of blush pink accessories. But then it just didn't do it for me. So I've decided to go with like tills. So I've got some little till occasional chairs. Um, till bedding. And then some till bits and pieces around the bedroom. The plan is that that way... If I then decide I want a bit of a, a colour change, I don't need to redecorate the whole room. I just change out the accessories. That's, in my head, that's how I like to do it. Because I do like to change up. So like, I might have like a winter and a summer theme. So at the moment, I'm going with all the teals and the blue colours. But then in the winter, I might decide I want a different colour. So that way, it's just a case of change the bedding, change the curtains, change the accessories around a little bit. Although I don't think I can change my my um my little chairs but i could throw a throw over them couldn't i you know you know how we do these things so yeah so this one got lots of love and again i think it's gonna i think it's gonna match i think this one will be hung up here in in the bedroom but yeah i absolutely am thoroughly enjoying stitching this one so that is it for the stitching 
you know what? I never thought I was going to get through that with everything that was going on. <laughs> if this video gets posted up, it's it's because I've actually, I've just sort of thought, do you know what? If I don't do this, it just yeah. If I don't do it now, there won't be a video because there just doesn't seem to be the right time to be recording. So that is it for the stitching. So we've got a new start. Everything else is whips. There's definitely no finishes because you have to do a bit more stitching than that. At some point, I am rather hoping that I'll get a wig along with winter because I do really want winter usable by the time we get to winter. But I'm, in my mind, I'm like, well, we're still in summer. I've still got autumn to go. So maybe during autumn, this will come out for more love. And if I, if I keep stitching at this rate on this one, this one might need to become a, tra a train project so that that way it gets a lot more love. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed stitching this one. But it is what it is, and it, you know me. You never know. We never know how I'm gonna feel or what's gonna happen, so. And with the whole being back to work, it's sort of thrown things up in the air. The girls seem to have decided to chill out finally now that I'm getting towards the end of this video. Fabulous, thanks girls. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I do need to get a wiggle on because it's nearly time to start work so where are we what else to tell you so a little bit of haul that I got whilst I was at the Chatelaine retreat because I didn't have Chatelaine to stitch on I went shopping instead Sparklies was there with all her goodness as was um, Hawkins Hobbies so Zarina and Robert were there with their framing and with their charts and kits and loads of stuff so yeah enabling was just not hard to you know lead us all astray so we all got led astray so i bought one piece of fabric that i actually bought as stock again sparklies and it's called innocent princess it's very pink very pink i do love that i will find something gorgeous to stitch on that so i picked that up but what i also picked up was two more Bella Filipinas. One of them, I just, well, you'll see. If I just do this, yeah, you know why. And because there wasn't a fabric that was actually ideal for this, when I was speaking to Kate at Sparkly's, I asked her if she could do a bit of a custom dye for me. So she's gonna do a custom dye for me. I'd sort of seen a couple of fabrics that were sort of in the right shades, but I needed them together. So I said, can, I, can, can you do me a bit of fabric where there's a bit of this in there and then a bit of this around the outside? So I'm hoping that Kate can come up with something spectacular for that. And then I'm gonna start that. I know I said I wasn't gonna have any new starts, but this is like Halloween-y. And I don't know why, but it's, yeah. I really quite fancy myself having a, having a bit of that. So that is Greta Goldbrum from Bella Filipina. So I purchased that. And like I say, the fabric will be ready when Kate gets it all dried up for me. And this one, I don't even know what to, you know when you see something and it's like, oh, I love that. But I've not seen very. I've not seen this one. This is the first time I've seen this one. I haven't seen it on floss tube. I haven't seen other people stitching it. But here's the design. I absolutely love that. Absolutely loved it. As soon as I clapped eyes on it, I was like, "That is gorgeous." I love the flowers. I love the water lilies. I love the detail of the water lilies at the bottom. Again, there wasn't a fabric that was ideal for it at the retreat. So when I had a chat with Kate there was one but it was in the wrong size so I said to her could you could you dye me something that sort of is similar to this this pink in I think I, I think I've decided on a 28 count yeah I think I think there was the right color but the the piece of fabric wasn't going to be big enough so she's going to do me a piece big enough for that one but yeah again absolutely love 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 and there was me saying I was going to be good and not buy any more things and not have any new starts. Zarina has been helping one of the lovely ladies from the Mirabilia Retreat um, de-stash some of her stuff. 
Um, she's going through a very tough time and I think the money really could go to help her do all the things that she wants to in her life. So there was a lot of her goodies that were in the middle of the room and we had a little look through. There was some lovely stuff on there that had I, had I been a little flusher would probably have purchased a couple of kits because they were like fully kitted sort of um, out of print mirabilia. But I couldn't stretch to it. So I thought, well, I can't stretch to that. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, I rather like the, I rather like the look of this. So I've gone with the Victoria Sampler Gazebo Roses Sampler. Absolutely love it. The only bit that I'm a little hesitant about is the roses because that's ribbon work at the top. But I've got another another design that's got ribbon work on it so so yeah I think I'm just gonna have to throw caution to the wind and and give it a go I love these designs and I think it's because I love the shape they're like a perfect shape I'm not sure that I'm gonna put the verse that's on it on it personally I might just sort of do the bands and leave the words out or not I don't know yet but it's not going to be started anytime soon, that's for sure, because I need to get some finishes done. So, so whilst I was at the Chatelaine retreat, I did try to do some recording and get some footage of, you know, getting there. And then when I was there, I didn't get around the room with people. They had a, I think you call it like a whips table. So it wasn't just finishes, it was finishes and whips. But the beauty of that was you got to see the same projects on different color fabrics. So if there's any, I haven't had a chance to look through the footage yet. If there's any footage that's that's usable, I will put it here so that you can see all of the goodies at the Chatelaine retreat that took place. Hello, my lovely Floss Tube friends. <clears throat> well, here I am driving along the good old M25. So anyone in the UK will know how much fun that is not. Heading, towards crew for the stitching retreat yay me and would you believe it i am stuck in traffic what's new there right so i haven't even made it off of the m25 yet so i'm at junction 25 of the m25 and i've just i mean for home for me is 30 31 and i'm already queuing in traffic at junction 25 so um it says I should get there in just under four hours, but watch this space. I am not 100% sure that I'm gonna agree that that's the case, because if this is how the travel starts, God only knows what the end of this goes like. But I'm in the car, I have my snacks, I have my Tupperware box, most important. <laughs> I have music and yeah, and I have a drink. Queuing in traffic sucks. So, yeah, we just, we just stopped. We're stopping. That can't be a good sign, right? Stopped on the M25. Oh, the joy, people. You know how much I love these jaunts to crew. Of all the places in the world to have to sit in a traffic jam. It can't be the Northampton one, could it? It has to be the crew one. But we will see how we get on. I will probably do some recording and some video footage along the way so that you can join the fun of the traffic jam with me and I'll put it on like a, I don't know, like a time lapse. So you don't, you don't have to suffer it in real time like I do, you get to Hazard see Hazard reported ahead on M25 in a quarter of a mile. You're still on the fastest route. Why, thank you. See, this is what I'm up against. <laughs> oh, the joys. So yeah, I'll put it on a fast forward so you don't have to sit through the painstaking time that I have to to actually get to where I'm going. You can watch it in fast time and I'll just suffer it in real time. which is, oh, do you know what? When the M6 toll road is working right, 
it is glorious it's like there's barely any traffic you can actually go along at the speed limit without having to keep putting the adaptive cruise control on to keep moving me around but yeah so we're making good time it is now 10 to 1 and I've got just under an hour left to drive in so wasn't too bad after all once I got off the M25 the M25 was a bit of a peak but then once I got onto the M1 um, yeah we was fine It's rather early in the morning, so as you can see, there is absolutely nobody here except me, which means that they're all late night stitches. So, whilst it's nice and quiet in the room, because I don't know how people would feel about me just, you know, walking around with the camera, so I need to check first. Um, I thought I would show you some of the finishes and the finishing table, because, because that's what we do. So let me spin the camera around and show you all of the lovely stitching. So this is the Chatelaine retreat. So, needless to say, it's mostly Chatelaine finishes or part finishes. So, let me spin it around so I can show you all of the lovely goodness. And this is why you fall down the rabbit hole of wanting to stitch all the Chatelaines. So, yeah, what can I say, people? So, this is the same design, and this is the finished version. Let's get up close and personal. Look, 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 look at the bling. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? So obviously that is the finished one. This one down here <clears throat> is not finished. But oh my, look at that. And then we've got this one here. Oh, look at that little bird, look. And because I have no idea. I have no idea which ones these are. But this one is obviously the same as this one here, which looks to be a finish. Or if it's not. But look, so you can really see the difference of, of what something looks like on, on different colour fabrics. Because those two to the left are the same design. It obviously isn't a full finish because down here there's obviously more stitching. So I think they've done the centers and that one's like a, a center complete. And then obviously you've got more to go. But look at the difference. So this one over here is on like a, <clears throat> a really pale blue fabric. And this one's on a white, which I think really makes, you know, you, you can just see such a difference. And then this one over here is on like, a, it's almost like a oatmeal color oatmeal biscuit and this one's on a blue so I, I do love the fact that you've got the same project and it's showing it in different colors because it gives you an idea of what they look like I love it and then we've got this one look at those colors would you look at that oh makes you want to buy all the chatelaines gotta say gotta say <coughs> <clears throat> oh wow look at this one look at that I love that sparkly fabric isn't that gorgeous oh and one on a frame how can you not love this and then uh, this one looks to be the same as the one above yep it is gorgeous how gorgeous so but like I say none of the these don't appear all to be finished so this is like their works in progress but it, it's to give people a flavor of oh, I mean look at the detail look at the detail on this here look and those tiles oh wow I love the fact that everything's like on a different fabric. So you can really get to see things pop in different ways. Look at the colors in that, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous. What have we got down here? Another one here. Oh, hello, I recognise this one. And before you say it, no, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine, it's somebody else's. And when I say it's not mine and mine isn't showing and I'm not going to show you mine, there's a, there is a reason for that. Because I'm at a Chatelaine retreat and you'd think that I'd, you know, bring my Chatelaine, right? More about that in the next video when I have to explain myself. But it's, it's just not even funny. Not even funny. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this. This is more like a works in progress table, isn't it? Oh wow, I'm loving that. Look at that peacocky thing. Peacock feather. I think this is, I don't know, I need to check. Oh hello, here's another, here's another evening in the park, look. So there we go. This is like, yeah, the works in progress table. And look how things look different in different colors. But I've got to say, there's been, there's been like quite a few here. So like that one there, that one there. Um, this one here. this one here and this one here it does make me want to actually start a new oh actually though i do like this one over here it does actually make me want to start another chatelaine <laughs> <laughs> no teresa bad teresa do not buy any more chatelaines okay we're gonna go uh, so i think this is a works in progress table I think there's a finishing table up on the stage. So let me whiz us up onto the stage up there. Cause I think, yeah, that looks like that might be the finishing table. Let's whiz up there and have a look. Oh yes, this is the finishing table of which there are chatelaines and then there are not chatelaines. So look at these. Oh wow, look, look people, look at this. Would you look at that? And do you know what? I don't even think the camera is doing the justice of the sparkle and the twinkles in these. Look at that, this, look at this. <gasps> look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? Little note when talking about the retreat on social media, please include these hashtags. I'll have to make sure. Look at that. Is that not cute? Is that not cute? Look at it. And then we've got this is obviously a full coverage. Wow. Look at the size of that. Isn't that beautiful? Here. 
I remember doing my one of these. Twisted band sampler. And that looks to be the same as mine. So that's the cross stitch only version rather than the one with the specialty stitches in it. And look, so this is again, a completed evening in the park. See, this is what it should look like. It's what mine should look like, but doesn't. <laughs> Love that fabric as well. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. I'm just seeing if it's, yeah, it is behind glass. Look at that, is that not gorgeous? And then, wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Look at this. It is huge as well, I have to say. Absolutely huge. I thought Evening in the Park was a biggie, but when I zoom out, look at the difference in size between this one and Evening in the Park. It is huge. But the detail, the detail in it, look. Sparkles. That is just adorable, isn't it? And I think looking at these, the fact that these frames have still got the cardboard around them, I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting this right. Robert from Hawkins Hobbies has done the framing on this piece. This looks like a new piece that he's framed. Uh, and the same for this one here. So Hawkins Hobbies not only do the selling of the, of the Chatelaines and the Bella Filipinas and the uh, Mirabilias and various other things, Mill Hill kits, but Robert also does um, custom framing. So he comes to the retreats with all the framing stuff and you can bring your piece and you can talk frames. It's such a great way of doing it because you know you give it to him at one retreat and then you can either you know, organize to get it before the next retreat or wait till the next retreat and he brings it along. It's great, isn't it? And then we've got one down here on the floor. That's very pretty. Very pretty. Look at that artwork. That's a full coverage as well. It's lovely, isn't it? So there we go. I had an absolute blast at the Chatelaine retreat. It was so lovely to catch up with the ladies. Some I haven't seen for years and years. Some I saw, I think last year, uh, which was great. Unfortunately, there was quite a few people that the day that we all went home on the Sunday, there was one or two that were feeling a little under the weather. Everyone tested before we went and we was all negative. And by the time I got home on the Sunday night, there was, yeah, people were like dropping like flies from COVID. So fingers crossed to all of those that contracted COVID. All that I'm aware of basically went through the usual, the usual feeling terribly rough for a few days. Um, but as far as I'm aware, everybody is sort of like, you know, a week or so and they weren't feeling quite so bad. So. So yeah, so for all of those lovely people that are unfortunate enough to have caught COVID, you know, hopefully you're all feeling a little bit better now. But yeah, these things happen. It's, what can you do? I mean, COVID over here is, is it's rife at the moment. So you, you just never know. You never know whether you're going to catch it or you're not going to catch it. And like I say, everybody tested ahead of going to the retreat and everyone was negative. So, you know, you can only do what you can do. If you test negative, of course you're gonna go. So, unfortunately, this is one of the downsides of COVID that, you know, we do, we do run a bit of a risk, even though we all test negative before we go, that by the time you get to the end of the retreat, you're no longer negative. It's just one of those things. I think it's something that the country and the world are gonna need to learn to live with. It's, it's, yeah, 
it's it's unfortunate but it is one of those things i've tried so hard to get this video recorded that i have no idea what this is going to edit up like so fingers crossed it doesn't edit up too badly and that it is usable to do my july update the plan seems as i'm now going to be working from home for most of august is to try and do a few more stitch with me videos maybe a couple of lives but in all fairness this time of year you're lucky if you see me so and because we're destined for hot 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 weather here ranging between 27 and 30 for the next foreseeable future who knows the plan is that i will try and get some stitch with me's up or some lives if i can do them if it's not too hot but if i don't then i will just try and make it for my august update you know what i'm like at this time of year the the, the weather is glorious the garden needs me yeah and i love to do all the things so that is it for this month thank you so so much for all your support on the channel and for all the lovely comments i am still working my way through the comments there are a lot of you and there are lots of comments so i am where i can i'm giving you the hearts if you've asked me a question i'm holding back on those so that i can do them in chunks so that i can answer the questions in like sittings so if it's that you've asked me a question and you're thinking how rude she hasn't even answered me it's not that I haven't answered you. I just haven't quite got to it yet. But I'm, I'm working on it, people. I really am. So thank you so, so much. I hope you're all having a wonderful summer weather. Enjoying your stitching. and Getting plenty of outdoorsy time. I know I am. So until next time, people. Bye-bye for now.